Um, I wanted to do another little tidbit on another song on that dead.net. I was trying to go on dead.net, but it wouldn't play any other song besides China Rider. I wanted to do Bertha. It wouldn't let me, so I'm back on YouTube. Somebody did on, I uh, put it on YouTube already, guitar, Bob Weir, isolated Bertha vocals, so I can kind of just play with it easily. Um, it's already isolated, so I don't need to t take everybody out. This is just the Bob Weir track. As you can hear when I was playing, it's kind of, you just hear the... Um, you, can, you can hear kind of other people in the background, you know, when it starts out, you hear Jerry strumming first. So it's kind of... This is Jerry, and then Bob comes in. You can hear where his, his guitar becomes dominant. Um, but at the same time, it really displays how Bob's doing the sus four his placement of it. It's a very certain spot because Jerry has his sus four spot, Bob has his sus four spot. Um, as you can hear in the beginning, he sits on it for a little bit. So he doesn't really do the sus four where Jerry does it. He's just strumming a G right there. It's right before the one. So you can do it with your pinky right there. I have a lesson on uh, I think the Skull and Skulls and Roses version of this. It's kind of around the same time period. This one's a little different in the licks that he's doing. Same idea, just different night, you know, different year. So the other way you can do this is hitting that, it's kind of like a full C chord. Right there. Take down both fingers, so your pinky goes down to the D, your ring finger goes down to the G. These two fingers don't move, your middle finger and your index don't move. C, G. C, it's kind of both of them instead of the sus. You kind of just put them both down real quick on that up strum. You can hear that. sticking in that box for the first one right there. Strict, strict box. Back to the beginning. That's always going to be the in-between. So now this one's a little bit different. 
does that starts with the same box, but he bends up the 12 note. it up and then hits it when it's up bends it down takes it off back to the 12 on the a and then back to the 10 on the d really peeling that peeling that note so you can see he goes right back to that same little before he goes He starts with the box, now he's adding in this bottom, the major third down. So it's four major third, to the two, to the one, on the C. as you can see. It's the, the concept is going in from this major third to the G major third, and then you just... See, when Jerry's doing chords, Bob has all the room in the world to do these single note licks, but it's not very Jerry-like, you know? Jerry's is just very... especially these isolated tracks. or C when he hits it. I feel like he goes to this one. The major third on top. Without the pinky on the five. And then he goes. Hot cross buttons like I call it. thirds now of each thing. This is the major third in C. Sliding up to the five, three, and you're just hitting the D string and the B string. You're skipping the G. Down to the three, and then you want to hit the one on, on the C note. And when you go after, after you hit that, now you're still messing around with the major third of the G. Sus so two to major third. Two to four. To five. You can either do the open G, or you can do the closed G on the five. I think he's doing the closed. 
goes to you. sharp but don't really emphasize the D sharp just you can emphasize the pinky or the middle finger because that's in C sharp you really need to emphasize in C sharp basis on what he's doing throughout the song we're gonna listen to the other verses and we'll kind of just sit back and listen to see what the differences are but once you get that first part kind of down of all the listen around with the five That's almost the same exact one we did. And then he just slides up to the five. Instead of going back down to the, the one. So instead of going back down to the one, he goes. Takes the sus four, bends it up to the five. You can either slide up to it or bend it. Down, 
down the five. So he does use the four to bend the sus four on the C to bend up to the five. And then he bends it down and just does that same little sus four, three, two, one. Make it like that, so your index is now free. Just sit on the seventh fret on the G, and hammer on your ring. Let's listen to that again. Thank you. 
bass solo and he's just just doing chords. the backup Jerry soloing. Simple licks on it. Just a little fun little thing to practice this little bassy kind of for A minor. Hit the five to eight to seven. Very losery. You're just skipping the the A string. Five eight seven five seven five seven five. And you're always skipping one string. I like how he does that nowadays. I don't know why. There's a lot of things about modern day Bob that I like. Right down the A minor. in those couple of verses um it's kind of more the same in the end one you can pick apart the end ones yourself if it's if you think it's a little bit different it's probably a little differences here and there but you can see how he kind of takes the basis of that box and kind of just adds to it each verse and he starts out with just and it ends up being to playing with a band if you just want to learn those licks i hope it helps guys more to come as always